In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to calculate a company's market share using level of detail expressions. First, let's start by describing what market share analysis is. The general idea is to know what a company's market share is relative to the percentage of the industry's total. So for example, I might want to know how company A is doing relative to all companies. You determine a company's market share by dividing its sales by the industry's total sales over a period of time. Lastly, the idea behind this is to give you a general idea on the size of a company relative to the industry. This is very useful for investors when they want to see is a company growing or shrinking within its market. So let's start simple. For me, the companies are going to be represented by regions. So I want to see how a region uh, compares to the, the total. So let's start simply with, uh, let's just start with a simple line chart. And I'm going to start by looking at it by years. And we see we have a simple, uh, a simple line chart. I can drill in and look at it by quarters, and there we go. It's kind of messy, but really what I'm concerned about is uh, one region compared to the rest of the regions. So actually, I'm going to make this pretty dynamic for my users. So I'm going to start by creating a, um, uh, I'm going to use a filter. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show my filter for my regions. And this is going to allow my users to then, I'm going to, I'm going to actually take, put region onto the detail shelf. Or no, I don't even need it there. I'll take it off. And I can say, you know, which region do I want to look at? So let me go ahead and change the title for my, my box here. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the title, and I'm going to give my users a bit of instruction. So I'm going to say, choose a region. OK. So now what we need to do is we need to be able to compare, in this case, the central sales to the overall sales. So to do that, I need to create a calculated field. I'm just going to call it total sales. Now in this case, I'm at the quarterly level. So I want to fix my level of detail expression at the quarterly level. So I'm going to just drag it in, drag the quarter in, and I'm just going to look at the sum of sales and close it with a mustachio. So this is telling me for each quarter, give me the total sales. Okay, fair enough. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that on the same axis so that we can see them together. So this tells me in Q1 of 2015, overall sales was 74,448, and the central made up 8,601 of that. Okay, so really what I want to do for my market share analysis is I want to look at that as a proportion. So I'm going to create another percentage. I'm, I'm going to call this market share or another calculation. And it's just going to be my sum of sales. Oops. Let's drag that in. Divided by my total sales. And there we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the market share in place of my measure values. Okay, and I don't need measure names in the view anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and change my number format to be percentages to zero decimals. And now I can see the market share that Central makes up of the overall. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put Central, I'm going to put the region back on detail because I want to stick that in my title. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to insert my region uh, and just say market share. And maybe make that bold and let's make it a bit bigger. Okay. So we now, we now say central market share. If I change this to the east, we could see the east market share. So I probably should change this to be, uh, I'm going to go ahead and customize my filter to get rid of the all option. And then I'm going to also change it to a single value list. OK, so now my, my users can only pick one at a time. And we can see the south was doing really well in Q1 of 2015, but then it fell off. And the west looks like it's rising a bit. OK. So that's great. That's the very simple way of doing market share analysis. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the labels on the ends of my lines. I'm going to do that by saying I want to do it on the min and the max at the quarterly level. So that's going to give me my maximum quarter. I'm going to turn off the label and then I'm going to put market share onto the label shelf. Okay, there we go. And I like my marks to match the mark color and let's make it a bit bigger maybe and bold. Okay, so we can see at the end of the period, we've got 28%. All right, great. But what if I want to look at it by month? So if I drill down by month, then my data is messed up because 
what's happening now is my, my level of detail expression is fixed on the quarterly level. So what that's doing now is it's taking each month and dividing it by that's qu that quarter's total, which isn't what we're looking for. So let's go back. Now I can handle that through a parameter. So I'm going to go ahead and create a calculated field. I'm going, and I'm going to, or I'm sorry, I need to create a parameter first. And I'm going to say, choose uh, a period of time, or choose a time period. Oops. All right, and I'm going to make this a simple list. And I don't, year isn't really important to me, so I'm going to put quarter, month, and maybe week. Something like that. You could, you could add really anything you want in here. So I'm going to hit OK. Actually, let me go ahead and edit that parameter. And I want to uh, put in here, I want to, I want to display this quarter, but I want the value to be a lowercase. And I'll show you why in a minute because I'm going to pass these into a calculation, but I want to display them with a capital. So that gives, gives my users a better experience. Okay, so let's show this parameter control. And now we can see, I'm going to also make that a single value list. And now we can see we can switch it to month and week, but it's not actually doing anything yet. So what I need to do is I need to create a new calculated field. I'm just going to call it uh, time, or maybe time period. And what I want to do is I'm going to actually just drag this quarter in here because I'm going to cheat a bit. And then inside these quotes, I'm going to stick my parameter. So uh, I'm going to call it choose. Oops. So I need to first get rid of the quotes. Choose a time period. Okay. And we get a valid calculation. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, it's going to pass in whatever time period we pick. Now I had to put it in lowercase because if I, if I go back now, let me go back to where, um, oops. So let me drag this in again, just so we can see what it's doing. Okay. So you see, notice here that my quarter is in lowercase. So when you're specifying the date part, those have to be in lowercase. So if I go back into my parameter, and if I edit my parameter, what Tableau is going to pull in is these values on the left-hand side. Okay. So we've got that built now. So I'm going to take my new time period. I'm going, to, I'm going to make it continuous by default. And then I'm going to just drag that up to the column shelf and replace my quarter that's on there. And I'm going to set it to the um, time period continuous. And notice how nothing changed, right? So I need to go actually go back into my label shelf. Notice how it put, it's now labeling the maximum instead of the end of the line. So what I want to do is I'm going to go back here, pick the field I wanted to base it on, which is my time period. And there we go. I like doing this method because it puts a nice little circle on the end. Now, one of the things to notice is when I hover over my time period, um, it's, uh, it's displaying time as well. So I'm going to actually click on my little um, um, data type marker and just change it to a date. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the calculation and show what that did. So Tableau actually wrapped it in a date function, which is fine. I'm not really too worried about that. Okay, but now when I, dis when I look at the hover, you can see what the time period is. Okay, so now if I switch it to quarter, now we're, I'm sorry, to month, we can see what the month, or actually our market share, we need to update that as well. So we have so, uh, sum of sales divided by sum of total sales. Okay, so in our total sales calculation, we need to also pass in, so we see that we're, we have it fixed on quarter right now, we wanna use that same, uh, that same field in here. So I actually could just put, uh, I'm going to replace this with my time period. Okay, and if I, if I open up this little window here on the side and I click on the time period, you'll see how it's built, date trunk. So there's no sense in repeating this date trunk. If I use it, the, the calculation I always built, uh, I've already built, then if I update the time period, this calculation will get updated automatically. So let's hit OK. And now you can see the graph changes. So in uh, July of uh, 2015, the, the West had a 64% market share. If I switch it to the South, you could see South had 68%. Um, you know, so these aren't particularly useful patterns, but you get the idea. So we switch it to the weekly level, and it's kind of all over the place, quarterly, whatever you want to call it. 
So that's a real simple way. And notice how my title actually updates as well. So uh, that's why we put the parameter, uh, I'm sorry, the, the region on the detail shelf so that we could specify that in the view. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, let me know any questions, but that's a real simple, dirty way to do market share analysis using level of detail expressions in Tableau. Have a great day.